Okay, so um, that's the shirt drawing um, project. So you take a shirt, put it on a wooden hanger, hang it on the wall, doorknob, wherever you want to install that, and do the drawing. So I want to see it, you know, from the from the hanger point down to a pocket line. So really incorporate the collar inside that drawing concept. Buttons are really important. Trying to get those down, put those together. So <clears throat> this is the center line right through here, and your strong horizontal line is the rod, right, that supports it. That's mostly illuminated projecting through coming into here. I can get a little bit more um, dark value change right behind here. Push that back a little bit more, really allow that light to pop up. But a lot of times while you're working on these drawings, you have a tendency to swipe over the white and you get a gray tone, so you got to move back into that and really push that concept of that light illumination and make that work. So the darkest starts are definitely directly underneath the collar points here. If you were looking at that here, while it's doing the drawing, that really drives that eye back here. And then coming back in through here, I would say, you know, you could run that contour line but definitely get that shadow to drop down just a little bit more. Really allows that collar to pop out pretty quickly. So that high contrast of light against shadow becomes really important with these drawings. Gray tone, intense dark, and light. You can see that intense dark here and here, here. On the inside, these little pocket points coming in down to the V-cut collar of the shirt. Coming into here, you get a really nice intense dark with a really bright light overlay so one light source really set that illumination get a really high contrast of light and shadow why you are establishing this drawing all the way through and that's going to help you to see the form and volume why you are working on this drawing so pay attention to the to the edges of these forms too if something comes close to you increase the scale and proportion make it a little bit bigger get it to pop off the page move it forward when you need to move that form forward and when you need to really push back into a recess area move that dark into the closest point and gray tone coming out and back into light again and that's going to aid you and allow you to see the structure of form and volume working over that <clears throat> element so everything is for all these organic farms, everything's working on a curve. Pay attention to the curvature of that light and shadow. And when you get that highlight, especially with metallics and buttons, you really got to pull those and work those bright lights coming off of those forms. So if that's that structure, that center line coming down through, I can line everything up on center, strong horizontal. You can see that the collars line up here as well as here and then the shoulder points coming in. So you've got all these strong horizontals breaking through with the buttons. The pockets are cast set up on a diagonal here and here, and pay attention to the pitch of those forms. So when it comes to the folds and shadows, where they um, come in close to this form here, direct underneath an, an, an overlay of a form, that's where your darkest point is, and then pull it back into that gray tone, and then border it with light, and it has a tendency to repeat itself all the way down. And that keeps you the structure of that pleat or that fold as you're working on that drawing. The colors are really well illuminated. There was some value change up into here, but bright light coming off the top of that shoulder point here, and then also coming down into here and running that into there. All right, so pay attention to the undulation of the curvatures of the lapel, right, as you follow through on that. So work off of center and pick up on the diagonals, right? So if you hold your pencil up on the collar, you look at that, you hold it up, you bring it back to the page, it's the same. Hold your pencil up to the collar there, bring it back to the page, it's the same. On the shoulders, those give you this really nice strong diagonal. It's all vertical lines are relationship to the outer edge of the page and all horizontal lines are relationship to the top and bottom of that page as you're working through the drawing. All right, so there you go. Um, work on those drawings and uh, have a good evening. Thank you.